First awarded in 1936, the Sir John Sulman Prize is awarded for the best subject, genre painting, or mural. The winner of the 2012 Sulman Prize is Nigel Milsom for Judo House Part 4. Uh, Judo House Part 4, in brackets, golden mud, is really about human uh, isolation and as one gets older their, life become, their lives become more solitary and their input or their active life in society seems to slowly deteriorate. And so the paintings sort of try, try to capture that. I was, it's just a meeting that I had, with a random meeting with a guy sitting at the bus stop. Just this old fella and he used to just um, go into town, you know. Remind me of my grandfather's sort of life where he'd go out once every Saturday into the city to, you know, go drink with his mates and I guess a way of, for him to alleviate his loneliness, you know. And so it kind of came about through remembering my pop but also having a conversation with this man at the bus stop. It just moulded them, you know, the idea that, that there was a sense of loneliness in their lives and I've tried to capture or isolate the, the man in painting in, in this room where he's pretty much a solitary sort of figure. Basically, it's just oil paint on linen, straight out of the tube and mixed and on a palette and then just applied with a paintbrush. It's pretty, like, straightforward and basic. I don't get too caught up in the sort of struggle of it. I just try to make it as clear as I can, you know. But it's really also the speed, you know, how you can, you can use a brush to like do a gesture or you can use it to create different planes. And um, so, it, you know, there's different techniques, but it's all pretty much just raw oil paint. In any painting I look at, if I can see sort of how clear the artist has applied the paint or their idea is clear in the painting I kind of respond to it you know it's sort of much more organic than just thinking uh, I want to paint I want to try to like paint like um, John Olson sort of thing I don't approach it like that it's more look at a lot of work look at a lot of different ways visual information can be pulled together clearly and then it's a matter of trying to work it out through the painting as I go, um, which is kind of the challenge, you know, but it's the fun part as well, um, because you never really know if things are going to interlock, uh, you know, and fall into place. Um, but when it does, it kind of just happens, you know.